Hey, Ben from Wad Prep, and today we are going to do a long-awaited video. I am going to side-by-side -side compare the kipping pull-up and the butterfly pull-up. So you're gonna see here that they are two very different movements, even though they're still a pull-up. So pay attention, make note of the slight changes. So if you're trying to learn one over the other or trying to understand why you can get one but can't get the other, this video is definitely going to help. All right, so here's, here's what I've done. I have a side shot of both the butterfly pull-up butterfly and the kipping pull up okay so what we're going to do is i just want to show you guys a visual representation in slow motion so that you can understand and hopefully your body will start to understand the difference between butterfly and kipping pull ups you're probably not going to figure everything out in this video but at least having the visual idea of oh my gosh this is what it's supposed to look like and this is why it's different than than the other one that is really going to help you get better so let's analyze all right first i'm actually going to just press play and i want you to watch the difference between butterfly and kipping notice how wildly different they are to complete essentially the same movement which is below the bar to above the bar all right obviously you can see that the body path the the hip pop every there's so many differences between these two movements okay so we're going to back it back up to the beginning Hopefully I can find my spot where I was. All right, so we're gonna back it back up to the beginning and I'm going to slow-mo each one. All right, so here we go. All right, so this is about the highest point of each movement. Maybe this one needs to go a little bit farther, okay? So this is the end point, this is the, the end goal. Let's trace backwards or trace into the next rep. So first, we're going to start over here on the left-hand side with the butterfly, and all I'm going to do is follow my shoulder path. Okay, try to give you, again, a visual. I'm a visual learner big time, so I want to give you guys a visual representation of the butterfly pull-up. So I think it's really important to start with the shoulders, okay, because that is pretty much, the, your shoulders are going to tell you where your body is, all right? So... I'd put a dot passing through the entire range of motion, motion of the butterfly pull-up, and I'm just going to kind of play connect the dots here. And as you can see, it's kind of an oval or an imperfect circle. Okay, so as I press play here on the left-hand side, I just want you to watch how it traces that pattern. Okay, now, next, let's come over here to the um, kipping pull-up. All right, let's come over here. And I'm just going to, again, trace my shoulder path. This time we're kind of starting from the bottom. But you'll see how different they are regardless. All right. So I have a nice big hip hop. Notice, I, this is kind of like a, a side, side note. I always tell people to get this levered position. Okay. You have to make sure that you're closing this angle right there if you want to get either the butterfly pull up or the kipping pull up. Okay. Maybe I can undo this. Sweet, it worked. All right, so let's keep tracing that shoulder all the way through the movement. Here we go, up to the top. Okay, so we'll play connect the dots, and it's kind of an arc. It's that arc that I've talked about before, or arch, or a banana, um, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to press play again to both videos, and you're going to watch them follow their path one more time. All right, so both of those movements are completely different. So let's, let me pause it really quick. We're going to back it up. I'm going to clear all the drawings, and we're just going to talk about some slight differences here. So as you can see, the kipping pull-up on the right-hand side is all about going up and towards and then once you get to that top, it's kind of like you press pause for a, a very split second, and then I'm retracing that exact shoulder path back down into my next rep, okay? The butterfly pull-up is actually completely different. I, know, I don't retrace my steps at all. 
I'm coming back, 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 back. Everything is pretty similar here between the two. I'm using my hips to pop. Okay, so let's I'm just going to slow motion here for both of them. I'm using my hips to pull myself towards the bar, except you can see on this right hand side, my elbows are down and I actually physically pull myself into the bar. Here, I'm actually keeping my elbow positioning different, as you can see, right? Elbow positioning is a little bit higher, okay? And what that allows is that allows me to, to get my chin above the bar a little bit farther back, okay? So again, let's, here's, here's the highest point of my butterfly pull-up, and you can see how far away my chin is from the bar. Conversely, here's my highest point on the kipping pull-up, and my chin is essentially right next to the bar, okay? And then here on that left-hand side, once I get to that height, my arms are kind of preventing me from running into the pull-up bar, and then I'm pulling myself underneath and back into that, that oval position that we talked about with my shoulder, still making that, that nice oval, okay? And then conversely, on this side, once I get that chin above the bar, I'm pushing away to reestablish my kip and executing the next rep. All right, I really hope you liked that video. Hopefully the, the lines on the screen didn't get too confusing and you could see the difference between the two. So if you want more videos like this and a completely free training guide to teach you how to get better at things like butterfly pull-ups, kipping pull-ups, double unders, uh, weightlifting, back squat, all that good stuff. If you want to take your training to the next level, just click this button or this button and it's going to take you to a page where you just have to enter your email address and I'm going to send you free training. It's going to be an ebook. I'm also going to send you some free training videos that are going to help you take your training to the next level. So if you want to increase your performance, click either of these links. If you're on a mobile device, just check in the comments or check in the description and click that link and it's going to take you to the same page and I will get your free training to you before the end of the day. So I hope you liked the video. Remember thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave a comment and let me know how you can apply this to your training and please feel free to share this with someone else. Last but not least, click here to subscribe to the Wad Prep YouTube channel. That way you don't miss any videos that I release down the road. And remember, the kipping pull-up and the butterfly pull-up are two completely different movements. Make sure you learn them both if you want to be good at this sport.